Hi everyone. This elements tutorial is brought to you by Livingston at Large Photography. Today we're going to do a color pop, which is taking a black and white photo and just leaving some parts of it color so you have a dramatic effect. And it's real easy to do, so we're going to get started. First I'm going to bring up a picture of my niece's lovely dog Angus and we'll go from there. We start, we have the background here and we're going to make a copy of the background so that's command J on a Mac and control J on a PC. Uh, you can also do it up in the uh, editing copy and paste by selecting all and then copy. This is a lot easier with the hotkeys though. Now we've got that layer selected and we're going to go up to enhance and convert it to black and white. You can play around down here in the color keys, do a little contrast, whatever you want to do to make it however you like it when you're happy with it. Click OK. Now, we still have that color layer underneath. So we're going, what we're going to do is create a layer mask on that, add a layer mask right here. Then we're going to come over to the other side, make sure that your foreground color is black because we can use black to take away from the things on here that we don't want and that what we want underneath showing through. So then we come over here and get a paintbrush and I'm going to make this paintbrush a little bigger up around 90 and then I just start erasing where I'm painting in this case where I want the color to show through from the layer below. And you're going to see as I go over this that the tab on the collar, the plastic thing, doesn't change color. That's because it was black to begin with. Just go through here, pick up what we want red. I'm going to have to change to a smaller brush, so while I might have this big brush, I'm going to go ahead and bring back his pretty chocolate brown eyes, too. We'll give it a nice little effect here. Okay, now I want it smaller to go in the finer places, be able to pick up the last of it. Here. Make sure we got the little edges and back into his fur in the back here. So I am pretty happy with that as it stands, and so I'm going to flatten the image here up at layer. <laughs> flatten image. And then at this point I would put my stamp right down here and I would call it good. And it was just that easy. Thanks for watching.